Hey folks, today we're going to install what could be possibly the best tonneau cover on the market. Let's get started. So as you guys saw in the intro, we are getting ready to install the back revolver X4S on a 2021 over here. Uh, GMC Sierra 3500 HD. I've never done this before, never installed this type of system before. So you guys are gonna go through this whole install um, from the very beginning, right out of the box, right to the truck. So hope you guys enjoy. I'll try to get as much detailed shots as I possibly can during the install give you my review of the install and overall review of the tonneau cover itself. So enjoy watching. It's like one of the top rail pieces. Another top rail piece. Looks like we have the cover itself. The accessory bag. Looks like the instructions and some felt pads. Some felt pads. I don't know if those are used for yet, but we'll find out. Great packaging. They did an awesome job packaging this. Of course, you know, this aluminum tonic cover itself is, you know, obviously pretty strong, so I don't think it would get tore up at all. All right, well, I'll finish taking this thing out of the box. We'll get it over to the, the truck and we'll start putting this together, see how long it takes. Looks like step one wants me to go ahead and clean this bulkhead, which probably makes a lot of sense. Clean the top. We did that. It says peel the backing and the adhesive of the seal at the edge of the bed opening. If the truck does not have a drop in bed liner, use the three quarter inch seal. If the truck does have a drop in bed liner, use the quarter inch seal. So, since this does not have a drop in bed liner, we're going to use this thicker seal. All kids. Before I do that, though, I want to. I started just to peel this a little bit. Oh, I'll go. I'm just putting it right in the center of this bulkhead. I'll go ahead and peel the rest of it off here. 
make it nice and straight, or as straight as I possibly can, rather. Okay. close-ups to this as well. See, I just put it right in the middle of the bulkhead. And it right here because the side rail is going to mount up here. So no reason to take it all the way. It's pretty simple. I'm going to take these clamps. actually instructions they tell you to kind of put the brackets up there first I just went ahead and put the rail up here and then just hand tighten them. Once I get everything the way that we need it and all square, I'll uh, finish tighten them up with the rest wrench. We'll go to the other side and do the same thing. To loosen them up just just a hair
we can tighten them up. But pretty simple. I should have went ahead and tightened these rails up. Um, the finger tight wasn't enough. Side the truck. Put those right back there. I just roll it up almost all the way to where hopefully I can get underneath and tighten them up. line them up Keep in mind these uh, these, these screw-ons got like nylon in them, so when it gets to a certain point, it gets a lot harder to screw them in. So just don't don't give up. Keep screwing them in. You almost need a pair, a pair of channel locks. Hands are... My suggestion would be to start off with the back ones first and then work your way to the to the front ones. Giving yourself plenty of room to be able to screw these bad boys in. That nylon nut inside these is it's a little tough. Got it. Let's uh, pull this thing out. Let's put the tailgate up. Let's see what we got. We'll roll this back up and.
So far though, pretty easy install. I gotta adjust this bracket, it's up too high. Yeah, too bad. Let's loosen these back up and readjust. do now is get the straps mounted get these nuts tightened up and be good to go Next thing we need to do is put these on so it doesn't go busting the glass.
I saw another video where somebody, you know, took these and st staggered them on two different levels. I think I kind of like that idea. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stagger them on a different level. So you got four total. I might stagger these. Yeah. I mean, this is just standard weather stripping. I could pick more of this up if I needed to. See how I kind of just staggered them? So it goes up there. Yeah, there we go. I like that. All right. Clamps on. Put these on. They just drop right in and tighten right up. See? There you go. Well, I think that brings us to a conclusion. I will, uh, I'll take some other video of where I place the, the brackets and where it aligns and. Loosen this up, pull it out, straps go home. Loosen this up by pushing it forward, turn it, drop it. Look at that. Not bad at all. And then I'll show you guys. Where I put you see right there's bracket for the straps. Another bracket. Another bracket. Another bracket. Same thing on the other side. Bracket. Bracket bracket strap bracket all right well that's it maybe i'll do a follow-up video going over you know the weather and how it handles the weather and does it keep everything dry inside the in the bed and just maybe it's an overall just you know last couple of months review um so subscribe look forward to that video 
Um, hopefully this guy's this video helped you guys out.